Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. So in this tutorial, we're going to let the admin change the order status from here. So here you can see in progress. So we'll let the admin change the status from like on the way to delivered. Okay. So let's go back to the code and here after the status, we're going to have another TD here. I mean TH and here in this TH, we are going to say change status then we'll go down and after this td we're going to mention another td in this td we're going to have a anchor tag and here we're going to say let's say on the way we will also mention a bootstrap class and it will be ptn ptn let's say primary let's set this and if we now refresh here there you can see we have an option called on the way so let's go and have another option called delivered so let's go back to the code and let me just copy this anchor tag control c then control v and here we're going to say delivered delivered and here instead of primary we're going to say here success let's save this refresh and there you go so when you click on the, on the way the status will change from in progress to on the way and when you click on delivered the status will change to delivered so for it let's go back to the code and first of all for on the way let's give it to second bracket then we'll say here urn to first bracket scene correction let's say our url name will be on the way we'll go to our web.php and create this url so let's go to our routes then web.php then let me just copy this route and i'm going to paste it over here and here our route name will be url name will be this one on the way so we say here on the way we use the admin controller the function name will be on the way and we will also have middleware auth admin so let's go to our admin controller and create this function so we'll go to our admin controller and here we are going to say public function on the way to first bracket and to second bracket so right now there is only thing that we need to do is we need to or we want to change the status for a specific order right so for it we need to get the order id so in order to get the order id what we need to do is after this we need to give a comma here and here you can see we are using dollar data in order to get the order data so we are going to say here dollar data this arrow sign id so we'll get the id and we also need to catch this id in our web.php so here we are going to give to second bracket and we we'll catch the id and we also need to catch this in the admin controller on the way function so we we'll say here dollar id so after this we're going to say here dollar data or you can declare any variable then equal we're going to measure table model name which is order we need to find the specific id so we'll say here find id and after finding the specific id in the order table we are storing it in this dollar data variable so we're going to say here dollar data this arrow sign and we want to change the status for that specific order, right? So we're going to say here status and the status will be on on the way. And after it, we will just save it. So we'll say here dollar data, this arrow sign, save. After saving the data, we'll return the user to the order table. So return, let's say redirect and let me just Go over here and here you can see our URL name is view underscore order. So I'll just say over here view underscore order. So after updating the data, I mean after updating the status, we'll go to this view. So let me just refresh here. And then if you click on the way, there you can see the status change to on the way. So when you click on deliver, it will do the same thing. So let me just go back to the order.plate.php and here you can see href so in this href okay let me just copy this and paste it here and our url name this time will be delivered 
let's go to our web.php let me copy this then paste it here let me just copy the url name which is delivered we say here delivered we'll use the admin controller the function name will delivered so let's go to our admin controller and let me just copy this function control c and control d our function name for this will be delivered this one so i'll just paste it over here we also need to cast the id everything will be same but just over here we are going to say delivered and that's all so let's save this refresh here and if we now for this on if we now click on deliver they get just status change to deliver and if you want you can give different color for different status like for example for deliver we can make it like yellow for it uh what you can is that let me just go to the order.plate.php and uh, here you can see status so here we can just give a condition so let me just cut it and here we are going to say at the rate of if then to first bracket we are going to say this if dollar at a status or uh, let me remove the second bracket from here if dollar at a status uh, if it is equal equal let's say in progress and which is basically this one in progress and this if condition will end over here we say here and the end of end if if the status is in progress we're going to say here span and here we're going to say color i mean style and in this style we're going to say color it will be red then here we're going to just copy this skip to second bracket like this and paste over here and we'll give a else condition at the rate of else and if it is not in progress then the color will be regular so let me copy paste and color will be normal if the status value is in progress uh, which is in the database you can see if the status value is in progress it will show us as red color okay so right now if we refresh here there you can see it is showing us in red color so let's also change the color for on the way and deliver as well so what you can do is we are going to say here else e then let me just copy this on paste it here and this time we are going to say if the status is uh, on the way if it is on the way then the color will be let's say the color it will be sky blue and we'll have one more condition we'll just say over here else and in this else we are going to just say this and here the color will be yellow so for this else condition uh, if in progress it will show us red color if on the way it will show us uh, sky blue and otherwise it will show us yellow color it means if the product is delivered it will show us yellow color so if we now refresh here there you can see if delivered showing us yellow color and if on the way it is showing us sky blue let's change for this one this one delivered there you can see it will change the color like this so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to let the admin print the data for a order okay so thank you very much for watching if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials